This is a Motorola Photon and there's a program called FoxFi that allows you to get uh, tethering for free uh, and it does not require root. Here I've just I've installed it already and I'll do open and it looks like this. It can do um, Wi-Fi tethering or it can do Bluetooth tethering. In this case I'll show you how it works with the Wi-Fi tethering. Uh, before you turn it on right here with the, with the Activate Wi-Fi hotspot, you want to go ahead and set your network name and set your password. In this case, the password is just ASDF, ASDF, has to be eight characters. But here for the uh, name, I'll go ahead and put some random letters at the end, like a, well, okay, I'll do that, T-Android. So there's the name. So now I go ahead and I turn it on. And it might get a mobile IP registration error when it's starting up, but that's okay. If you just let it sit, it will uh, it will start. It will it will re-register and then it will work. There, just like the mobile IP registration response error. What's going to happen now is because it got that mobile response error, it's actually not going to work initially. But if we give it enough time, it will re-register itself and uh, and it will do the Wi-Fi hotspot. So here I'm my laptop come over here and I'll click on and there's the T Android T Android uh, we don't want to connect uh, who cares connect automatically <clears throat> password up in ASDF ASDF uh, okay like I said it it says it has the uh, limited access because of that mobile response error that, that it showed. But if we wait long enough, uh, this will, it says hotspot on and a 3G is back on. Uh, if we wait long enough, it will start working. And I will show you that. And here it is. The uh, it spun, had a little circle spinning around and it actually popped up this message uh, about select the location for T Android network and I'll just, I'll just say the home network, it's fine, it doesn't matter it's just going to go away in a minute anyway close that and when I come down here and click on this now you can see it's connected to the T Android and over here my IP address information is 1.2.168.1.223 and the default gateway is 43.1 so let's see if it will pull up a website and it took about it, after, between the time I paused it and now it took about um, about two minutes or so and then it, it came, up, came up and ran so here I'm just going to a website uh, msnbc msnbc dot com and it changed it to MSNBC and then it's pulling in and here it is doing Wi-Fi tethering off my Motorola Photon with the program Y or uh, Fox Fi F O X F I and uh, then to turn it off you just hit the hit the green icon again when you when you want to get back into it you can pull down your menu and Right there is the Foxfly hotspot ready. And uh, so you can turn it off like that. Stop in the hotspot and it's off. And free Wi Fi tethering for Motorola photons.